There's an evolution of tech that's on the way, one that is not necessarily transforming our tech, but rather recontextualizing it. Instead of the powerful computers in our pockets or on our laps, we're now putting many of the same useful features in new places, and in this case, right on our faces so that we can put it all into the real world. Rainio are providing that augmented reality or AR experience in a pair of glasses that gives a really good look into what this future evolution looks like. So let's go ahead and put these glasses on and fire them up because it's Joshua Vagar, what's going on everybody? These are the TCL Ray Neo X2 AR glasses. Now before we get started, a quick shout out to Ray Neo for sending me these glasses to try out in my own daily life and for sponsoring this video. If you aren't already familiar with Ray Neo, I have covered another one of their glasses in the past, which were a great second screen experience. This time, however, it's all about being able to see and interact with the real world still, but have a lot of the tech information readily available. And one more thing, if you are interested in trying out the Ray Neo X2 for yourself, you can follow the links in the description below to head over to their campaign happening right now and to find more information on upcoming news and releases of these glasses. These glasses actually do not come alone as I'm going to be featuring a couple of accessories uh, as this video goes on. One I can show you right now though is this sunglasses shade that really easily just pops onto the front. So if you are out and about with these glasses and you need a little bit of protection from the bright outdoors, well, here you go. This control ring makes it so that you don't have to do all of the control using the touch sensitive panels on both of the temples. And then finally, there is a fun musical accessory that will show how AR glasses like this can be both useful and fun. Now, looking at the glasses themselves, you can kind of see here that there are a couple of panels where the screens will project any digital information, either coming from the connected smartphone, uh, like notifications and whatnot, or um, any information that's being processed right on the glasses. And these glasses are very powerful because they are being powered by the Snapdragon XR2 platform, so there's plenty of capability here. As I said a second ago, there are touch sensitive panels here on both sides. The right side is for navigating the interface and then the left side is used for adjusting the volume and play pause capabilities. There's one button here on the right side, that's the power button, and below that on both sides uh, are directional speakers, which make these glasses a little bit more like a pair of open ear headphones. One useful design aspect is that the battery and all of the processing is located more in the back of the temples. That's why you have these larger, uh, somewhat bulkier areas on the back. Uh, the thing is, that actually helps out because on other AR or XR glasses, all of that's being done more on the front, all of the processing, which means that you usually get like this hot feeling on the front because it's literally heating up. All of that is moved more to the back and you end up not really feeling it quite as much. But that doesn't mean the front of the glasses are lacking in functionality. Right here in the middle is a camera that actually works pretty well in making some POV style photos and videos. We'll actually start with that because I think the footage and the photos actually look pretty good. You go into the interface here uh, and we're gonna go around and head over to the camera. And once you open up the camera app in here, you get a sort of viewfinder here. A small interface, while clearly visible, does not get in the way of anything else that I would want to look at in the real world. It's basically giving me a reference for framing a picture or a video. So I just tap on the temple here and I have a photo straight of my POV, my point of view. Now, in certain contexts, this could be very useful for easily capturing memories in a way that doesn't take me away from the present moment by having to take out like a phone or any other device in order to actually do it. Instead, it's just my point of view captured in what I found to be impressive quality. Now, getting all of the photos and videos off of the glasses entails connecting them to a computer or using the Ray Neo app, which I have right here. If you head over to the album area, you can actually sync up to the device and anything that you have captured will show up here in this gallery and you just download all of that down. And there's the picture that I just took. Uh, this app is obviously going to be important because it is where you can install any available applications and change up the settings of the X2 glasses. While there will surely be more apps created for the Ray Neo X2, three are already showcasing the glasses pretty well maps, translation, and digital assistance. All of those are pretty self-explanatory, but that means that you can see, well, quite literally, uh, where these glasses slot into daily life or work. The maps application uses the here navigation system to find locations to literally guide you in the real world using digital readouts. I'm in the maps application right now, and actually before I even do anything, I can look around and there are some uh, destinations that are being uh, suggested to me if I wanted to just go somewhere within, uh, let's say 500 meters of here. But then I can tap the side right here and talk to the glasses to find out where I want to go. Cafe. 
It's at that point I can select the destination that I want to go to, and then a small little digital readout will be in the corner of the glasses, so it's easy for me to just glance down at them and know what direction I should be heading. I'm doing my best to show off what these directions look like, but you get the picture. There are a couple of things to note though. The Maps application asks if you want to walk or ride a bike to any destination, so clearly this isn't meant to be something that you drive with, nor should anyone really recommend it. You also have the ability to literally open the Maps application within the Rain Neo app and start the navigation from there. My favorite part about this, aside from having the information without taking away my spatial awareness, is how the directions are just dropped in the corner like a HUD in a video game. And yes, the glasses have their own sensors that help position you in terms of your actual direction, so it's like literally pointing you to your next quest. There we are, made it. The only real issue I had with my early unit here is that the maps couldn't really do its thing, like it couldn't do a voice search unless the glasses were directly connected to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, it should work with the internet of your connected smartphone, but for now, I had to either do the search either here or in my home uh, at first and then get moving, or have a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, that I have it connected to via my phone, which is what I did to get those shots of me walking to the coffee shop. But even without that little quirk, I do have to kind of draw the line here, because I'm sure some of you are wondering it for yourself. These are probably not glasses that I would use too often out in public. I'm not saying this because I don't think they look good, though they are a little bit large on my head, I will admit, but I do wear large glasses from time to time. Instead, I see these glasses more as a tool in my office where I've been using them the most. That's because the heads up notifications that come from my smartphone are really useful and they don't get in the way of what I'm doing at any given moment. The speakers in the temples provide an easy way for me to listen to any YouTube videos or music in the background. And again, it's not getting in the way of anything I'm doing. And aside from all of that, there are quick looks at certain pieces of information. There's this quick panel that comes up if I tap the side, and it shows me certain things like uh, my connectivity at the moment, the time, the day, and also some weather information. The glasses can basically stay on for the duration of my workday unless I have to take them off to charge, which can happen pretty frequently, especially if I'm playing media in the background all the time. Maps, Translate, and AI Assistance then become something you use on a case-by-case -case basis, which kind of makes sense, and they all work pretty well so far. So as it turns out, the translation feature on these glasses is trying to listen for anything outside of itself. More specifically, it's trying to listen for anyone that's not the wearer. So um, I don't have anybody here to talk to me so I can see uh, the visual representation of the translation. However, what we'll do is we'll just virtualize it a little bit. I did uh, get to record some of the translation from the glasses, and I'm just going to give you sort of a, a taste of what that kind of looks like here. I've been learning a little bit of Japanese, so here we go. Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Eigo ga yoku wakarimasu. Ja, mata. There's also an AI translation feature on here that will listen for whatever someone else is saying, uh, translate it, and then give you some responses that make sense for that particular conversation. It's a combination of just straight translation, but also AI. Uh, that way it gives you some things that you can do based upon that information. And finally, there's AI assistance, which takes on a bit of a persona, let's call it that. You get a couple of digital avatars, one more anime-like than the other, <laughs> and then you can literally talk to it because it will take your responses and feed it through chat GPT. You get real responses from the virtual friend, and that can be useful for when I'm just trying to get a quick answer for a question occupying some space in my brain. See, this is what I mean by recontextualizing the tech in our lives. A pair of glasses like this takes functions you might usually associate with a smartphone and makes it just way more accessible and literally part of the real world. It's a new way of looking at our virtual lives, and I think that the Rainio X2 are a pretty great and effective example of all of that. It's no surprise to me that these glasses have this level of capability since they are powered by the Snapdragon XR2 platform, but I have to give Rain Neo a lot of credit too for providing the actual practical use cases pretty effectively already. Aside from just leaning into the somewhat hypotheticals that games and smaller apps provide. But like I said, there are games in here and they are actually quite fun. They're simplistic considering the level of control that you do have with the swipes and whatnot, but Snake XR actually got me pretty involved and um, the swipe backwards to emulate drawing the arrow in the archery game made me want to get a bullseye before getting back to work. And finally, in the context of augmented reality, there is this um, fun musical accessory. So yes, it is a steel drum, and I actually have to put this mat down so that it can recognize where it is in real space. You kind of get the picture here. It's trying to tell me where um, to hit on this steel drum. 
so that I can actually play a song. Ode to Joy was one of the songs. You see, I've played piano before, and something like this, where you're actually trying to learn via augmented reality, makes a lot of sense to me. So I like that kind of future. And so there you have it, the TCL Rain Neo X2. These glasses have been quite fun to use, not just because of its apps and games, but because it has actually been useful in particular scenarios. And it has shown me what a future with powerful wearable computing can look like. We're in the early days of this kind of tech, but Rain Neo has put a good foot forward. And if you're interested in trying it out for yourself, remember that I have some links in the description below for you to check out. From there, though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for kicking it with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other and... Enjoy your tea, everybody.